How are you? I wanted to tell you something. I always want to tell you something. Maybe it's something that uh, that is saying something about me. I have an endless spring of uh, will to share and to tell and to say, but only good things. Bezat Hashem. So I wanted to tell you that it's written on Adam Arishon and on Chavai Menu that um, immediately after the Creator took out Chavai Menu, our mother Eve out of Adam Arishon, out of the first man. So they were together, they had a lot of fun and they loved each other. And then Hashem commanded Adam Arishon, Valken, the verse is saying Valken, this is for, because I gave you your wife, this is for, that's why. Azav Ishet Avivimo, every person needs to walk away from his parents' house and to glue himself to his wife, to become, to attach himself to his wife, and that they will become one flesh, one body. So after the Zohar Kadosh, the Kabbalah, is explaining that Adam and Chava, they were one person connected before, and then Hashem separate them. And immediately after he separated them to two, two individuals, two different people. So then he commanded Adam Arishon, commanded them that they will always be together. That's Shalom Bayit, that's peace in the house. When they're always friends and they always want to be together. That was the intention, that was the commandment of Hashem to Adam Arishon. Now, after they've been together and they had so much fun together, it's written that Chava is walking alone and the snake attempted her and pushed her to the tree of, of knowledge good and bad and then she failed in that test but I'm asking you who got the responsibility to take care of his wife to protect his wife if not the husband so Adam Arishon I'm asking you if you're watching us on Facebook live where have you been your wife, she needed you. So, to all of those men that have the root of soul of Adam Arishon inside of them, you need to understand that it's our responsibility that we were not protecting, defending, and guarding our wives. And that's a horrible sin. It's a huge, huge mistake that we made. And we let them be attempted. And they might have the responsibility of their sin but it doesn't exempt us from our responsibility on not protecting our wives enough. So every husband, take your wife seriously and love her and support her and watch over her and always be with her and smile to her. That's the most important thing. ראשון לציון, הנה אינם בלי ירושלים מבשרת אין, אל תשמחי או יבתי לי כי נפלתי קם, תקשב בחושך אדוני אור לי. ליהודים הייתה אורה ושמחה וששון ועיקר כן תהיה לנו תמיד. כוס ישועות עושה עוד שם אדוני יקרא. אנא אדוני יושיע נא. אנא אדוני יושיע נא. אנא אדוני יצליחה נא. אנא אדוני הצליחה נא. הצליחנו הצלח דרכנו הצלח לימודנו הצלח אמונתנו הצלח שמחתנו הצלח שלום ביתנו. הצלח חינוך ילדינו, שלח ברכה רווחה והצלחה בכל מעשה ידינו, כדכתיב יישא ברכה מאת אדוני, וצדקה מאלוהי אישנו, סברי מרנן, ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, בורא פרי הגפן. ברוך אתה אדוני, אלוהינו מלך העולם, בורא מיני בשמים. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם בורא מאורי האש. אמן. 
ברוך אתה ה' אלוהינו מלך העולם המבדיל בין קודש לחול, בין אור לחושך, בין ישראל לעמים, בין יום השביעי לששת ימי המעשה. ברוך אתה ה' אלוהינו מבדיל בין קודש לחול. שבוע טוב. One more second. I'll tell you another small secret. When we're saying, בורא מאורי האש, that the creator, he created the light of fire, so the real intention and very important intention that we need to have in our minds, always to be as strong as we can to aim our heart to that, is that with that flame of fire, we're gonna satisfy Hashem enough that that's gonna be the only fire for this week, that there will be no more judgments except of that fire, no more power, no more um, constrictions, no more difficulties, no more anger, no more frustration, no more sadness, no more depression, that this torch of fire will be the only fire for this week. Shabbat Tov. Yeah. Lai, lai, lai,